Hello friends, welcome back. Work is continuing on my Capra. I've got the dig servo installed, but the main thing I want to show you is what you have to do if you use a stock skid plate and you want to install either a Firma 2300 or the uh, Hobbywing Fusion 2300. And I'll zoom in here and show you what you have to do to cut it to make it fit. All right, the only problem you're gonna have is on the back side of the skid plate, this is the, the aft portion of the car. The uh, motor, unless you shave this particular portion here, will stop, the bottom of the motor will stop about here. And it won't go all the way down to where it needs to in order for the transmission to sit flat. So you kind of have to L-shape it pretty deep. And the bottom of the L-shape, I would say, is about a millimeter lower than the bottom hole here. Also, you'll run into a problem where if you do that, you'll see that there's not a lot of space between the bottom hole and the actual can of the motor. And that doesn't leave enough room for the body of the end link. And it will hit this outer uh, can area and it will not go far enough forward for you to put a screw into that bottom hole. So the way I solve that is just move this uh, link up one hole and also uh, shave the very end of the link to clearance it because I didn't want to put it in the top hole. Uh, by putting it this much higher, it's actually um, tipping the plate more upward and that's undesirable. Um, the other thing you can do is it, it also tips your uh, rear the input shaft for the rear differential. It also tips this portion slightly upward, but I feel like it's worth it to be able to still use this, um, this uh, motor and have a dig servo. So I've got this kind of rigged up because I don't have the proper equipment to do it. This is just a servo from an SCX24 with, you know, it's a, actually an Emax servo that I use on SCX24s with a uh, ball pin, uh, I should say ball pivot from an, uh, an SCX24 um, steering suspension ball, basically. But the main thing you got to do is shave just this one more so than this one. This one take some minor trimming just because it's farther out to the side of the of the motor. You can see here that I did sorry about the camera work there. You can see here that I did trim it slightly but not as much as the other side. And this shows where I took just a little bit of material off the end of that to uh, clearance the motor. It's not a real pretty job but it doesn't matter. I use Dremel tool. I could do it better if I wanted, but I just needed the clearance and nobody's ever going to see it. Hopefully this doesn't take a whole lot of load and want to break. Uh, if anything, it's pushing instead of pulling. So it's pushing into the main body of this and I don't know that it will matter much um, as far as strength goes. If it does, I'll figure out something else to do. Or I might just get a Vader skid plate later. But I really wanted to be able to use the, uh, the dig servo and I believe that is integrated right onto the skid plate since here it is. And I don't know if the Vader skid plate has a facility to be able to bolt that on there or not. I'll have to get some clarification on that. But that is what you have to do if you want to put this on properly. And I said if you decide not to, uh, sort of trying to say here uh, clearance that this motor will be canted upward so badly instead of sitting flat like this it's going to be tipped way up because literally the end of the motor here hits the uh, more so the inner suspension like mounting point the outer a little but not quite as bad well, that is uh, how to install the fusion 2300 into a Capra stock skid plate. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later.